For years now, Venezuelan goods have been siphoned out of this oil-rich nation. Government officials say as much as 40% of all imported goods find their way into neighboring Brazil, Colombia, and even the Caribbean island. Contraband along Venezuela's porous borders has been an ongoing problem. The fact that Venezuela sells heavily subsidized food and petrol means that if you're able to drive across the border and resell these products, you stand to make an extraordinary profit. In an unprecedented move, Venezuela's president has extended the closure of one of the main border crossings into neighboring Colombia. He says it's part of an effort to end smuggling and paramilitary activity in his country. No, 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 no. We are not going to tolerate it anymore. We have reached our limit. So I hope we can build a new relationship at all levels. So you can see the complexity of the process, which isn't just a straightforward border closure. It is a new policy. The closure of the border crossing has left dozens of families stranded. It's also led to the deportation of more than 1,000 Colombians. Many of them have lived in Venezuela for years. They kicked us out at 5 in the morning. They kicked us out like dogs. They didn't let us take anything. They didn't even let us bathe. They said, let's go, leave, get out of here. I lost everything, even my clothes. We left without a thing. Colombia and human rights groups say the deportations are unnecessary and that authorities used excessive force. They say closing the border is untimely and unlikely to do much to solve Venezuela's problems. I want to once again reiterate Colombia's disapproval of the border closures. We are convinced that closing the border won't help the two countries fight against contraband. What it is doing, as you've seen, is creating a difficult situation for the residents who live on either side of the border. But Venezuela's government looks set to maintain and perhaps even extend restrictions at other border crossings unless Colombia agrees to help build a new border. Virginia Lopez, Al Jazeera, San Antonio, Táchira.